I don't think this is free. <laughs> Welcome back to another video. Um, first of all, I just want to quickly clarify that this channel is back. If you guys had no updates because I had nothing over this channel control, uh, the past week the channel got hacked, and if you are really active on my socials, you guys would probably know, like, three, four days ago, uh, but when I'm recording this. And uh, um, it was really sad, but I did create a new channel that was called Study Center, and eventually today, the day I'm recording this, which is August 15, I got the channel back. It came back with a recovery request uh, approve, and I got it back, which was amazing to hear. And so then I decided, I mean, I had like my socials changed everything to Study Center. I was like, we'll just continue the brand. So we're changing the YouTube channel brand once again. Yes. Okay. Anyways, and today I'm going to be doing my top three reading websites. Um, so I actually had did this video about two years ago. Um, and this video was super, you know, it was one of the best uh, viewed videos on my channel. One of them, not the best, but one of them. And I decided to go and do it. Uh, the two of the websites are going to be the same. And this other one I found that is more for a younger audience because I did get suggested in the comments that uh, if I make a future video to please share younger audience um, ones that just are for reading. So I have one there to go ahead and talk about. So let's get into it. Okay, so starting off, we have time for kids. So this one is a comeback. I always have loved it. It's just a little article thing. Uh, you can read this from K, literally K1 to 6th grade. Um, so it doesn't go older, but I mean, you can read 5, 6. I read it all the time. It works out for me um, personally, but yeah so you basically can go to this website also all the links will be in the description box below to go and find uh everything is free there's no uh charges and i'm pretty sure you don't have to log into the time for kids or the one other website but then yeah i'll explain more later but yeah so you come here and you just want to scroll down this is kind of hidden because a lot of people don't scroll down and here uh, go ahead and just kind of click the age so i'm just gonna do the oldest one that i can relate to and basically here it goes through articles um just really cool articles that uh, do stuff right so you can see um it just has a lot of articles i'll just click on one it also says what category it is and even under that like space and if you just want to read space articles you can go ahead and click that space and it's just going to provide with space so if you're like trying to research on something and you don't want to bobble through other types of articles you can actually filter your article selection um you know it says five to six but i really am going to be honest it's like for everyone just to i like to read this a couple of times in a week just to kind of just get some information and read and i feel like um i we don't quite look into it i also have a add-on that i'll talk about in another video that like lets you take an article and put it into a pdf form if you like to annotate or you're gonna like import it for something i don't know but let's go and get on to the next one okay the next one is also returning back um so this one is uh readtheory.org this is one of the most popular used school academy apps but if you're homeschooling this could also work so when you log in this is the page you're gonna get uh when you sign up sorry so when you start Read Theory actually has a customized pretest going through grades three Lexile levels to all the way up to wherever you're reaching. This is really flexible. I think it goes up to 12th grade and maybe even beyond. It just kind of depends on your Lexile. It has a lot of customized features. You know, you can uh, change like the size of the text and I don't know why it's not changing, but uh, it should be. Oh yeah, this is on desktop. I'm pretty sure the way you can change from desktop is uh, view and then like zoom out. Yeah, like that. um so yeah that's kind of how it happens um yeah there we go um and you know you can just kind of find and then you have these questions and that usually for every article you read there's like four questions but since this is a pretest, you know you can just click on something click submit and they're not usually all the rest uh will tell you um if you're getting them correct or not right as you submit it but when you're taking a pretest, they don't tell you that the best part is parents can actually create an account to monitor their children's activities of exact timestamps of when they have done stuff and what scores they've received overall well as well as potential potentially uh really good data for uh lexi levels and where they're placing at they also have charts to show where the things are they're falling weak behind whether that's non-fiction fiction text or if it's certainly in a category of like trying to absorb stuff or summarize stuff paraphrase stuff quote stuff they have all different type of things that from one question they can analyze and that's just really cool so i'm just going to quickly go ahead um just select random answers here you can see 
my flex style just went down from grade 3 to grade 1. <laughs> um, so that just means you, I got these wrong, and I'm still getting them wrong. And you can see the flex style or the lex style level is getting lower. Come on, can I like just get a random one? To, oh, yeah, that was right. Oh, okay. So, yeah, and when your pre test is complete, you can go and click on the enter program, and here it places you in. So, after looking at the scores I got, it placed me in that they think that I'm about in the level of grade four, which is about 570. 70 legs are level disclaimer i did not read any of these so yeah <laughs> but basically when you're actually into a program if you get it wrong um or right it will tell you and uh, you can see which one's the right oh uh, and you can also see why this one's right and um that so we're just gonna go ahead okay i'm getting these wrong okay Come on, please get one right from these guessings. Oh, wait, okay, I'm gonna, uh, I don't know, I'm just gonna click. So yeah, so basically, uh, when you get to a thing, so like I've ter terribly performed on this, uh, what it says is quiz complete, your score is 0%, zero, zero out of five, you earned zero knowledge points in total. Sorry, you did not pass, you may see this quiz again in the future. Um, so then they also tell you like based on scores, uh, it says, based on your performance, we think it's best you probably move down a level. We'll make your next quiz a little easier. And remember, don't get discouraged and all that stuff. All these statistics do go to your parent's account if you have a parent account linked to the child's account. And then KP points. KP points are basically called knowledge points, which just you get throughout when you are getting quizzes done first. And when you're getting good scores on them, you can see I earned zero because I had a zero percent. Uh, you can go into your next quiz. You can see it moved me down a level. You can go to your progress to kind of see what level you're on. Uh, all, you know, stuff like that. Also, like your grade progression. So you started off with a 4G on your quiz one to quiz two you decreased um and this borderline is different for every single person the borderline is basically your pretest line of where your first like your where they like determine your knowledge is that's where this is so you you got i got the quiz on top so now it's below the knowledge meaning i have to you know you want to keep it up your lexile uh, progression is the same thing this line is how much lexile you got on your pretest and um how this like top thing is where you started first on and then the bottom these statistics and charts are available by the way then there are the mastery ela common core standards these are basically standards that they have um seen through question types it's a ccss um so they kind of they uh they have an analysis based on other students who took this quiz and had similar pretest to yours how you and them were and you can see you i have answered all of them incorrect uh it also has your late quiz history and yeah that's pretty much it and you can go to your my writing part which is really cool so these are responses you can uh you know write if your teacher assigns and then you can click my teacher um yeah so yeah that's it let's go ahead and get on to the next one okay we're back so the third one, um, the third one that I have suggested is called openlibrary.org. So basically over here, um, it's pretty simple. So there is, uh, it's a, you know, it's a .org, so it's a pretty good website. Um, it actually has K to 12 student libraries, random books, advanced searches, all that. They also have like by subject, if you're looking for art books, fantasy, biograph, um, biographies, biography biographies. Oh my God. Did I just say biographies? I'm sorry. I, that's like one of my biggest biggest pet peeves is when people like pronounce stuff like that like for, instead of saying photography you'd say photography i'm sorry i became that i'm sorry um yeah but they have all different types of books and when you scroll down there's some that says read and there's some that says borrow so when you click the borrow you have to like get your email and stuff but if you don't want to sign up there's a lot of the read books and any of the ones that say read on it um like these these are some books that i've never heard of but uh well now i did so let's just say i wanted to read this one you'd click read and it has a inter or it has it like one in here so you can see this book is 570 pages it does skip through like stuff you don't want to see and it kind of looks like a real book not gonna lie uh you can like kind of adjust pages you want to see and not there also is audio versions uh, if you just want to see one page at a time, if you get overwhelmed or something, you can see like all pages, like that's cool. You can also go ahead and just get a PDF version, which is pretty cool. So if you use EPUB, which I had a video on, on the channel somewhere, please go find it. I'm sorry. You can use that, or you can just get a PDF for people who, uh, you know, like PDFs, which is super cool. I like how they do it. There's not any interactive features inside of the PDF 
PDF ex uh, itself. So, you know, you're not going to have that like experience of you reading a book if you don't want to do it through their website. But I know a lot of times you're like offline or something. It does happen. So you can uh, like PDFs are pretty cool now because it like you can have your thing like which number you want to go on. Um, but yeah, so you can just kind of keep scrolling down. I don't know how you scroll. Yeah, there we go. It's kind of laggy because it's a big PDF. I suggest breaking it down to like two. Um, wow, this cannot handle it. Oh my god. Yeah, but basically I have page numbers. Uh, one thing I do hate, hate is it's not text uh, sensitive, like meaning some, you can't select a lot of the text or it won't go right, but it's fine. Uh, but yeah, so that was my third one. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and... Um, yeah, I'll see you guys. Also, I did some really, um, well, here's the thing. I don't, th I think I'm going to cut this out, but I'm going to put it in the bloopers, which are going to be just after the scene. But, um, I like went on a website and I shared and I recorded the part where it's not for free, actually. <laughs> and you have to like subscribe and pay too. So like, I'm sorry, but I'll put those right in the end, the footage that I have of me trying that. This is not part of the video. It's just bloopers because I literally realized, but I'll have the full clip there so you guys can watch it and the video will end i think you have a wonderful day make sure you go and check in my socials at only studies center uh, for twitter and instagram go and check my podcast tastic talks season three is currently on air or as well as the new segment that's coming up called over inspo and something even more exciting season four is coming october 2nd so make sure to stay tuned for that i hope you guys have a wonderful day and i'll see you guys in the next one and here's the blooper clip of me messing up and then you'll see the outro bye this one's new it's called tumblebooks.com um, so this one was requested by a lot of the people who watched the first, uh, thing, uh, video. Yeah, sure. Okay. Um, they wanted to see just, you know, it's kind of hard to find stuff. So this one was one of the ones that I found that was like super young. I don't know how young they wanted it, but I found one. So this is called Tumble Books. Uh, basically they have like a thing, uh, over here. They not just have book libraries, but they also have like math and other stuff. So we'll kind of explore but uh, if you're here literally for the purpose of what this video serves, which is books online for free, go and click on the first here tab. Again, I'll show you. It's this one, Tumble Book. Just click on the little picture. And it'll take you to this page. Uh, here, you can actually log in and all stuff if you want to, like, save stuff. I don't know. You can also subscribe. Um, and in here, to the points you can see, there is tons of books. You have the award-winning storybooks. Robert, oh, these are, uh, like, certain things also i read that book when i was little and that was um so yeah you just have tons of books in the collection and uh i don't think this is free <laughs> this is just a